the Joe Rogan experience. Did you have any involvement? This is barely related, but did you have any involvement or know anybody that had any involvement with um, those Mormon cults that are down there? Yes. I, I do know people that uh, in the Juarez region, uh, that some of the Mitt Romney's family members in that region area, yeah, I, I knew some federal, I know some federal police guys and military guys that uh, were curious about the amount of firearms that these guys had because they had some, uh, they, they basically fought the cartels off. How I, crazy is that? Well, it's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting being there and finding a white guy that speaks amazing English and it was born in Mexico and he, and there are Mormons and they're Mormons and they, they have to get like a visa to travel to the U S pretty yeah, People don't know that like Mitt Romney's <laughs> dad, the reason why Mitt Romney's dad never ran for president is cause he was born in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of white Mexicans, which is another weird mm -hmm. thing that people don't know. Sure. About. Canelo. Louis CK. Yeah. Louis CK. Mexico. Yeah. Uh, Canelo. Yeah. Um, uh, anybody that's of uh, Irish ancestry, if you go into a bar in Mexico, some bars in Mexico, you can probably get some free drinks if you tell me you're Irish, because the Irish betrayed the Americans in the last Mexico-American War. Uh, so, and a lot of them stayed down there and married some of the locals. That's I got, how, a, that's I got an Irish last name. I'm that's, one quarter Irish. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you got a Canelo probably, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, 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 the Mormon community in that area, basically a few of their members got abducted. Yeah. And the cartels were, you know, wanted to do more against them. And these guys apparently got some high powered, uh, long range rifles and they were shooting at these people from afar and they set up this whole security apparatus around their, their town. And, uh, the Mexican government, um, basically looked the other way and kind of said, you know, well, it's fine. Just don't, you know, don't be, get too crazy with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was some sort of interaction as far as, uh, them trying to appease things with them, you know, because uh, realistically, the 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 town that they that they made out there is a paradise. I mean, amongst uh, other towns in that area, it's a beautiful place. Really, it's a beautiful place. Very organized. Very. What is it called? Is this it, Jamie? This yeah. is their Mormon little Col town. Yeah, so, what kind of military do they have that protects this town? Like, if they've they've made their own military. The, so, I actually got to do a few reconnaissance things there just this this is passing by and what i saw that they had were a bunch of uh basically machine gun nests on some of the hilltops and they lit the uh they limited the amount of access points to that little town so they had the bear basically there what know, happened when the people got abducted i think one of them got killed and then you know they wanted to kill other people and it there was, there was this whole thing. They went to the government for help and they didn't say anything. So somehow they, you know, procured firearms down there. So they wow. started defending their own. What a strange story that is because they left the United States when polygamy was illegal. Yes. When they started making polygamy illegal in Utah, they went, well, we'll just go to Mexico. Because back when they did it, there wasn't even cars. <laughs> yeah. So it was like no big deal to live in Mexico. Like you're riding a fucking horse no matter where you are. Yeah. No, di no difference. <laughs> No. And, so they and, said, we'll go over here. But it is a nice, I mean, again, it's a weird American-like town in the middle of Juarez. I mean, How many Go people? Coahuila. Uh, it's probably in the thousands, tens of thousands, maybe. People wow. Know. Yeah. All Mormons. All Mormons and a lot of Mexican con converts now. So Really? Yeah. There's a lot of Mexican converts uh, down there as well. So. And are there more than one family, more than one of these oh, towns? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of family names in, in, in that region. They're kind of famous, you know. Wow. I think one of the the barons are one of those. But it's only this one town. It's it's one of there's a, there's a few out there. There's a few out there. There's a few Mormon communities out there. Wow. And it's all the same sort of deal. Yeah. Armed to the tits. The discreetly armed. You know. It, I don't know if it's as open as it was, but it's. It, 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 back then, when it was really rowdy, they were they were openly doing you know things to keep people from not coming to their town. And they're full on <coughs> Mexican citizens. Yes. Wow. But they're but they speak English and they're white, so it's they don't speak Spanish. Uh, some, some of them, them? do, but it, they don't need to because they live in this community. And they don't go out of it a Oof. lot, so you know it's a we it's a weird place. That's fucking really weird. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs>